beautiful designs, uh, all the premium fashion, fashion landscapes, renowned for his undeniable knack for showmanship and elaborate designs, Flale's work is both daring and elegant. Uh, the, the iconic luxury designer David Flale is set to turn the runway red when he unveils a special once-off collection based on the color red at this year's Devon July. Extremely honored to have the man himself, David Flale, with us in studio this afternoon. Thank you for having me. David, firstly, we were following you on the reality TV show, The Intern. So we want to yeah. start talking about that before we actually uh, okay. get to the uh, fashion of the races tomorrow. What was that whole experience like? And are you planning to host much more TV shows like this because we are waiting for it? Yeah, The Intern uh, was like really fantastic. Um, you know, on SAPC3, it was just like groundbreaking. But the only thing that I've learned was like, Sure, was I ever ready for TV? That's number one, because it takes so much time to do one episode. Um, but more than anything else, I, I've, I've really enjoyed doing um, the intern season one. And um, it taught me quite a lot of things. And uh, But more than anything else, um, we found a lot of new talent, which is what the intern is about, and having to impart knowledge and skill um, to the young designers and it's like really fantastic. Are we doing season two? Mm. Yes, of course. Yes, that's good news. Definitely, it's gonna be bigger, it's gonna be better. It's gonna be like game changing, wow. I would say reality show. Can't wait. Well, let's speak about 2018. It's been a, a great year for you thus far, right? I'm yeah. guessing one of the highlights for you has been making a Hollywood debut by dressing uh, the star of Black Panther, Florence Kasuba, the premiere. Yeah. Uh, tell us more about that experience and was it any bit of a challenge? Did you really enjoy it from start? Uh, you know, dressing Florence was like really like a miracle from heaven because I mean, here I am sitting in Joburg. This email comes in from all the way from London. Um, Florence's um, um, PR, they were like, we've been looking for you. Please, can you do this? I'm like, how are we going to do this? Is she going to come for fitting or anything? I'm like, mm -hmm. they're like, no, we just send you the measurements and you're just going to make it happen because mm -hmm. you're great like that. I'm like, hmm, that's going to be a big one. So send us measurements. Um, just spoke on the phone with uh, with an agent like over days and days sending off sketches and colors and everything and like we had to sit you know go through the whole process together with an agent and uh, but ultimately it was like you know I'm just gonna walk away from what the agent is saying I'm gonna do David Clale because that's all I know and I'll just do it right and we made the dress sent it we just prayed to God that everything works mm. And on the day of the fitting, it was fantastic because it was just like spot on, no alteration. Florence loved the dress and she looked absolutely fantastic. Yeah. 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 Well, this point of, of your career right now, can yeah. you actually describe it as a peak or is there a lot more that you want to achieve before you can actually say, I've reached my peak? Ooh, I think uh, <laughs> um, 15 years later, I feel like our journey has just begun mm. as a brand because who we are, this is what we stand for as a brand, David Lally. Um, I believe we just now saying web uh, world watch because mm. the journey is on so can you tell us about some of the goals that are planned for the brand david lally i mean like um like right now we're working on our spring summer collection um which we're going to be showcasing in uh, new york and so i hope you entered for the competition if you didn't i can't help you uh -oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you would come with us to new york uh Whoa. but it's like in september and yeah. then uh, we're doing a lot of work in europe mm -hmm. um paris and milan and um, definitely focusing on making sure that the brand uh, is now available on, on the ready to wear site. I mean, we, we have our, um, our ready to wear David by David Lally selling online on, um, on Spree and um, Edgar's. And it's like really fantastic because people always have this notion that David Lally is expensive when mm -hmm. they haven't bought even or purchased one item. So I'm saying go to those websites and also come to our Instagram and just find our product. It's quite reasonable. David, let's get down to the actual business uh, about you being in Devon. Now, this is to unveil a special once-off collection based on the color red at this year's Devon July, which is on tomorrow. Uh, can you tell us about this collection? What sets it apart from some of the previous collections that you've done? I mean, uh, the, the collection is purely inspired by the partnership that we have with Vodacom, where, I mean, all started out like, we're going to challenge you because you're known just to be wearing black on a daily basis. Mm. So I was like, hmm. So what's, it, what's, what's this challenge about? We're like, we want to take you out of your comfort zone. We want to see you wearing red. I'm like, uh, <laughs> how's this going to work? Because I'm not like that. But, you know, I was like, you know what? Let's change the game. Mm. Challenge accepted. And you're going to see me painting the city red. red. And it's been like really, really 
beautiful and as you know as the journey unfolded we got to a point whereby <clears throat> we designed a clutch bag mm -hmm. which is out there only a thousand nationwide oh. well where did you draw inspiration from I mean you know using